Shot from there. Oh, and he actually hits it from there. Let's go. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we just unlocked Kovacic's card on our actual account. Um, we did a Kanji on my boy's account, so big thank you to him for unlocking that card. Very good card to unlock because even if you got a shares card, you got a really cool concept with like a Premier League hybrid to a Bundesliga hybrid. So it's a, it's a, it's a really cool concept to have the Swiss leagues. But for this player review, we are going to be reviewing Kovacic's card, right? So we're looking at a card that is five foot nine height with high, high work rates, four star, four star with his preferred foot being the right foot. So Obviously, we're off to a fantastic start for this card, right? Um, the four-star weak foot, I keep telling people all the time, for me personally, is such a huge thing when it comes to midfielders because when they are a three-star weak-footed player, it's very linear. You know, you have to play them in specific positions. If they end up having a rotation policy with some other player in a team, depending on the situation of the game, it may not be the best situation. So for him to have the four-star, four-star minimum, especially in the midfield area, is absolutely huge, right? So in regards to the specific stats, we're looking at 86 acceleration with 79 sprint speed. So Obviously, that is something that you're going to want to improve. I think pace is really, really relevant in that CDM position, which is where we're going to be using him. He has 66 finishing. So, you know, you definitely could use him as a center mid for sure. Um, but because I don't use any formations that actually use um, center mids in the general sense, I usually use the 4-2-3-1 depending on the situation of the game. Um, it's not necessarily a big deal that he has 66 finishing because he's going to be playing in the midfield role mostly. What I want to see is how he builds up the play transitioning forward and how he comes back into play defensively, right? So 85 shot power, 81 long shots, still pretty decent, especially with that four-star weak foot and 86 composure. His passing stats are obviously brilliant. 95 short passing with 87 long passing is incredibly beneficial to have in a CDM position because I mostly like to tell my CDMs to stay back while attacking because when I use my left and right attacking mid to come back to my fullbacks and my fullbacks to my CDMs, I like to be able to do that and have players that can set up the attacking players in a general sense. So if you look at this card, he has really good dribbling stats as well for the CDM position. Attackers wise, like, you know, you would probably have to improve it, but in the CDM role, it's very, very good to have those dribbling stats in general, especially with the 86 composure. Defending stats, the thing about the defending, right? Because people will look at slide talk and be like, oh, it's really low, right? But again, in my genuine opinion, if you slap a shadow chemistry style on this card, which is what we're going to be doing before we even do anything, um, you're looking at a plus 13 for acceleration, plus 10 for sprint speed, but then that plus 15 for sliding tackles, plus 5 for sliding tackles, so on and so forth. Look at the like close to mid 90s to high 90s in regards to him being a CDM. But not only are you boosting the pace with the defending, but if you boost the pace, it helps out with the dribbling. It helps out with the physical aspect of the card, right? So. We're looking at a very, very good player here. The five foot nine height is going to be very interesting. Interesting to see, um, you know, how that plays out in game. I feel like an interesting combo that I want to go with, especially for this team over here, is I actually want to use uh, my Lauren Blanc in the team because I want to see how he moves off of a really good medium high work rated player. So. If we go ahead and search for Lauren Blanc over here, we could see that he is already a center mid. So the way that we're going to be lined up in game is going to look like this. Let me just go ahead and slap the shadow chemistry style instantly because, like I said, I think it's going to be a huge thing to give him that because having near enough perfect pace uh, definitely helps out in the other attributes of your card. So uh, the way that we're going to be lined up in game with Kovacic and the squad is going to look like this. We're going to have him in the left center defense mid position, but there's going to be a variable that we have to consider here, okay? So we are going to go ahead and just move Daniel James off to the side over here with Bernardo Silva there, because I Bernardo Silva is amazing. Um, we're going to have cut pass lane, stay back while attacking cover center for Lauren Blanc, defensive presence-wise. However, we're going to have Kovacic... We're going to have Kovacic on balanced instructions only with cover center. Reason being is because we need to see how the card uh, how the card moves in the general sense with the high, high work rates, transitioning forward, coming back in the defense, so on and so forth, right? Is the aggressive coming back with those high defensive work rates, so on and so forth, right? So uh, I'm definitely interested in trying out the card. I'm happy I chose him because I like using players that I admire in real life. I think Kovacic is a brilliant footballer in real life. Honestly, for me, he's one of the best midfielders I've watched this year. So um, I, I, I get really excited when I use these types of cards. So uh, 
Yeah, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and um, try him on the left center defenseman position, and then I will let you guys know if he is uh, worth picking up. Well, it's every card so far has their own thing, except for Milinkovic Savage. I think Kovacic and Akanji are probably like the best choices, even though Milinkovic Savage is obviously very good. It's just in regards to the choices you get, you know, he's probably like third place, I would say, so far. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try out Kovacic and see how he plays in game. All right, let's switch to our 4-2-3-1. Let's see how he plays in game. Need to go ahead and check out his uh, his dribbling first because I want to see how responsive it is with that 81 reactions. Oh, this card is going to be so sick to have in the CDM position. Yeah, dude, especially with that four-star weak foot, it's going to be great. I want to see what he's like defensively. I love the way that he's moving with uh, with Lauren Blanc right now. It's a, it's a huge, huge thing to consider when it comes to these cards. Is that that medium high? That medium high. Oh my god! <laughs> what the heck was that? The huge variable when it comes to midfielders in uh, in FIFA is just the balance that they have working off of each other. You can see Kovacic with that shadow chemistry style working really, really nicely in that general area. Dude, you can just tell how responsive he is in that ball. He's going to be so nice to have in that CDM position. Oh, look at that, dude. Let's go. Nice acceleration, too. Long shot? Ah, oh, okay. Long shots. I mean, I don't expect him to take a god tier long shots. Long shots are not really an effective thing in FIFA, but I just wanted to try it anyways. Shot from there? Oh, and he actually hits it from there. Let's go. So again, yeah, the way that he's moving off with Lauren Blanc, like Lauren Blanc is honestly the perfect player to next uh, next to Kovacic. Let's make him join the attack here. Okay, so how do you transition back? Oh, so you saw that right there. When he aggressively attacked, once he realized he was getting into an offside position, he transitioned back really quickly. So that's fantastic. See that bounce between him and uh, him and Lauren Blanc? Lauren Blanc is just staying in that general position really nicely. Okay, so what I want to try out now, I want to go ahead and put him... Because he obviously, he's not an aggressive attacker, but he will utilize space when he sees it on the balance instruction. So what we want to do now, because of those high, high work rates, I want to go ahead and put him on cut pass lane, stay back while attacking and cover center next to Lauren Blanc. And I want to see if that, uh, if that works out nicely. So we're just going to go ahead and confirm that and uh, let's take it from there. I'm really curious to see what he's going to be like with that because... I feel like when you have both of those instructions to be the same, I think both the players move off of each other really nicely in the defensive area. So we'll see what's up. Okay, so we lost possession of the ball. We're not going to use Kovacic here. Kovacic is definitely not as def uh, defensive oriented as Lauren Blanc, of course. It's definitely going to be a variable that you have to consider when using the card. But that right there, that quick dribbles to have in the uh, the midfield area is always going to be a super beneficial thing to have. Okay, so now we're going to make him join the attacks. We're going to do an aggressive push right here. Nicely done. Opens up the space really nicely. We don't score that opportunity, but it's always nice to be able to push one of your CDMs forward because the defenders have to go and occupy him. So it just creates more space for you to attack, right? His transitioning there was really good. You see him on the edge of the box right there. So the cut passing lane, stay back while uh, stay back while attacking instruction, very nice in that general area. Yeah, so check him on the cut passing lane, stay back while instruction, uh, stay back while attacking instruction. Look at that. You see his movement, how he stays in line with Lauren Blanc the entire time. Not gonna switch to him. He's rotating really, really nicely in that uh, uh, by doing the cut passing lanes. Nicely done, Kovacic. Well done. Might be able to score from that opportunity too. Oh, and he does. See, you have to be very careful because that's a FIFA mechanic as well. You have to be very, very careful when you're close to the goalkeeper. There is a thing in this game where if you are holding our trigger and you get close to the goalkeeper in that general area, your player will do the acceleration touch. You know how in the Akanji video I was mentioning it in the defensive area? They do that as well for the goalkeeper area. If the goalkeeper starts pushing you and you're still holding our trigger, those controlled 
push touches that you were doing no longer like for that last touch it's no longer control push touch so you have to be very very careful when you know that the person's going to pull out his goalkeeper touch finesse shots oh it doesn't register my finesse shot <laughs> it's so crazy how you press the buttons and the game doesn't register your stuff again his dribbling is super nice so to get into the position he still did a very good job maybe if uh Maybe if the game registered my finesse shot, maybe we would have scored a nice opportunity there. Yeah, his movement on the stay back while attacking cup passing lane is actually really nice. Look, so I'm not going to control him. No second man press. Just in a very good position. So if I'm transitioning back with Lauren Blanc, he still occupies that area up front really nicely. We're just going to keep giving him the ball here. So let's see here. No touching anything. Look at his movement. The way he's moving with Lauren Blanc to block those two guys. Still in line in the two CDM position. See? Still in line. Still in line. Perfect there, you see? So in that general situation, you're going to obviously want to have to control your CDMs, right? Because you have to. But the way he was positioning himself with Lauren Blanc, the way they were playing off of each other, was really good. I actually have a feeling that if you put a high, high work rate player next to him, he could also be very good in that sense too. Yep, good defending again there. Let's go. Possession-based tackles, man. That's the, that's the tackles you want to get the most. Always possession-based. Again, we're not going to be using anything. No second man pressing. Look at how he's marking that one dude up top. You see that? Really good. Because when you do that, if the person starts to do that, your center back will go into the CDM position. So you're going to mark that person instantly. So obviously very good defensive awareness there from him. All right, guys. So final verdict on the card. Honestly, he's really good. He's definitely a very, very good choice. Now, specifically, um, I would use him as a right center defensive mid because I feel like with that four star weak foot right footed on the right side would definitely be the best option. Um, it would also be very good to use him in the right center mid option in a 4 1 2 and 2 or a 4 3 3 where you're using one of the center mids. Um, I think he can play that role really well. I really think that with the shadow chemistry style, for me personally in the CDM position with the cut pass lane, stay back while attacking and cover center, he played really, really well for me, right? Off the ball movement is pretty decent. He will utilize the empty space really well if you have him on balance instructions just with the cover center on as well. So definitely really nice. He's not super aggressive on the attack, which is kind of uh, uh, in play with the 75 position, which is actually quite fine for, for me, to be honest. Um, again, the high, high work rates, very, very helpful to transition forward and come back. I just really, really liked him on that stay back while attacking cup passing lane instruction because the way he was moving generally was really, really nice. So if you guys end up choosing this card, I definitely think um, you wouldn't regret it depending on the state of your team. He is Croatian, so I might do something in the future where I link Orsic and Perisic with him um, just for the fun concept, right? So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video today. I really enjoy the card. Both Akanji and Kovacic have both been very, very good selections so far. It would be nice if you could just unlock all three of the cards because... I mean, why not? Why do you have to select one, right? But it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. We'll see if they release an SBC or something later today. If they do, we'll make a video for that. But if not, this will be the last video for today. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.